What's happening, road dogs and highway hounds? Yeehaw! <laughs> What's going on? So now you've heard that, uh, or maybe you haven't, I don't know. Litecoin is now trading on GDAX. I am less than thrilled by the news. Mainly because I'm a buyer of Litecoin and I like the fact that the price is down. Hopefully the price stays down because I still got a lot more to buy. I want to buy more. But there's that counterintuitive thing. You know, when the good news comes out, you should really, if you're a buyer, you should be a little disgruntled that the price is going up. Because now you can't buy as much as you did before. And I am disgruntled for that reason. I mean, I'm happy for the long term of it. I don't think there's any stopping Litecoin. Because gold and silver are in the... Are deeply embedded within the psyche of money. And Bitcoin is gold, as everybody knows. And Litecoin is silver, as everybody knows. But, uh, you know, this whole thing causes me to uh, pause a bit. Think about the power that Coinbase has. And, uh, and these movers and shakers. You think about Ethereum, which under normal circumstances would be a failed coin. But because they raised $18 million, rented a beach house, threw a party, marketed the heck out of Ethereum, and, uh, and the GDP, the general dumb public like you and me, bought into it. I own Ethereum, I own Litecoin, I own Bitcoin. We bought into it, and... Uh, That Ethereum is ripe for manipulation, but it made it on to Coinbase before Litecoin did. That kind of burns me, and it's not because I'm a fan of Litecoin more than Ethereum. It burns me because this is the type of manipulation and stuff that I am getting into cryptocurrency to get away from. Ethereum, when they made Ethereum, they raised $18 million to create Ethereum. Now, Charlie Lee did it as a hobby himself. Uh, without raising any money. Um, Ethereum... Twelve percent of Ethereum was given to the developers. Litecoin wasn't. You know, Litecoin was distributed uh, fairly. Charlie Lee, when he made it, he announced to the you know to the Bitcoin community, which was small at that time, but he announced that I'm going to be releasing Litecoin on such and such a day. And at that time, you can get your miners going turn them on and at that time we are going to go live and we're going to start mining it. So he didn't keep 12% for him and his buddies like they did in Ethereum. And, uh, and then they pre-mined a bunch of coins for the pre-sale at Ethereum which they didn't didn't pre-mine anything at Litecoin. And then I looked at the pre-sale and what, they raised $60 million at the pre-sale. They didn't disclose how many coins there were going to be or how many uh, ether or whatever. And uh, and that's shady. But, uh, so I didn't buy. But, uh, and, and, and you think about it now. A lot of the people who are, are pushing Ethereum bought in at the pre-sale. 
said that he uh, made 3,000% off of Ethereum before he sold out. So basically, he bought in at the pre-sale, came out and pumped it up, and talked it up, talked up Slockin.io, pumped up the Dow, and after the hack, and then sold his coin, and then sold all of his Ethereum, and then comes out and makes a video saying, I've sold all my Ethereum, I don't think it's a good thing. If that's not a pop and dump, I don't know what is. 3,000% you're getting out right after you've been saying it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Not cool, man. You know, in the stock market, if, uh, what did, did Martha Stewart get busted for something like that? Or I was inside, insider trading, but they call it front running. When you go and sell all your position and you've got a, uh, a, you know, you've got the biggest cryptocurrency channel on YouTube and the biggest one on Steam It Now, which I think he's pumping that one up now. Uh, but you go and you, uh, You sell your your position, and then you come out and tell your followers, hey, I've just sold everything. And they're like, oh crap, Tizen sold everything. And so then they start selling. And then he can go in and buy. I don't know if he did or he didn't. But that's called front running in the stock market. When you sell everything and then you use the media to, uh, to announce that. I don't know, you know, I don't know if that's illegal or not. But it sure ain't very nice, you know, after you've been talking that up for whatever. But that's Ethereum. Uh, I buy Litecoin because of the way it was fairly released and all this kind of stuff. And I'm not front running like that. I want you guys to know that uh, I have, I've been buying for probably the past six months. Let me just, I'll just clue you into my thing. Okay, I, I, I bought, bought into Bitcoin first in about 2013. I didn't buy a whole Bitcoin because it was outrageously expensive at that time. So when I say I bought my first Bitcoin, I didn't buy a whole Bitcoin. But anyway, so I started buying there a little bit here and there. Not 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 really a whole lot. But uh, you know, this past year or this past year, I've been buying most most of my holdings, and it's been uh, Litecoin. And I'm talking, I'm talking about this stuff. I'm, if you watch some of my earlier videos, I'm a little reluctant to talk about Litecoin. I don't want to pump it up because here's the thing: I have, I would say, here in the next next six months, I'm probably going to come into a fairly significant amount of money for me, which ain't very much for most, but it is for me, and so about tenfold of my entire position, I'll be getting about ten times that amount of cash to invest, and I'd like to put it in a Litecoin, so that's why I'm reluctant to talk up Litecoin. But at the same time, I'm uh, trying to give back to the community. And I see this Ethereum thing doing just getting really uh, stinky. And that's actually why I started posting, was because I see people running into Ethereum and I'm like, are you guys kidding me? You don't, you, you 
don't see the problems in Ethereum. I think I don't know what the heck started. I guess it's because I can't can't keep my mouth shut. That's what it is. But uh, no, I start. So I started posting videos a while ago. But uh, so that's my position. So kind of you know in the. Why I'm kind of, it's kind of a bittersweet thing for me, you know, yeah, okay, cool, light points on GDEX, but, uh, it's just, how much power does Coinbase have, and the, and do the people on YouTube who are making videos like me, how much power do they have when they can pump up stuff and then make 3,000% and dump it? See, I, I was listening to Tizen at that time, and I bought into Ethereum, you know, and then he went and dumped his, you know, so I'm his sucker. I made money, you know, he made money off me, he pumped it up, I bought it because I was listening to him, you know, too dumb for slocking or whatever, so I didn't buy that, but uh, how many people has he, did he pump that up to? And I'm, and I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm not really complaining about it. It's par for the course. But I just want you to be aware. Hey, man, if you bought, if you bought in Ethereum because of ties in, he sold it after he made 3,000% and no longer has a position. Unless he said that he dumped it and waited for the price to go down and then got it back in. To me, that's dirty. It's not right. And I call him out by name for it. And don't let Ty Zip fool you. He uh, he's involved with Next Point, which was the second cryptocurrency that was was released. And I think about that. Next Point. Why would you name a uh, uh, a coin Next Coin? It's because you are positioning yourself to be next, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, but he's always going to the next thing, you know? He was pumping up, a, you know, pumped up uh, Ethereum, made 3,000%, and then dumped it. And now he's talking about steaming, you know, and and I'm not knocking the technology of these things like Ethereum and, and steaming. It's awesome technology, but these things are going to come to Bitcoin and Litecoin. And why I keep hounding on Bitcoin and Litecoin is that they is because they were released fairly. And I think Litecoin was probably the fairest of them all. And Litecoin is super fair right now because, I mean, who can't afford $3.50? I guess it's $4 now. Price is going up. So now you're going to get all the freaking traders coming in there and, and the price is going to go through the roof. And, you know, I'm going to miss out on buying my position that I was trying to get. Wham, 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 right? But this is the counterintuitive thing that I keep telling you guys to hold. When the price goes up, if you're a buyer and the price goes up, it's a bad day. But it's a good day overall. I mean, there's my green coming out. We're all, we're all susceptible to green. I want more, more, more. I got plenty. But, you know, it's just, uh, it is what it is. But, now it's a GDEX. Now it's is, uh, trading Litecoin. I wonder what they're going to do with Ethereum. I mean, is Ethereum going to survive this just because of the marketing of Goldman Sachs and, and Wall Street hedge fund managers? I mean, I guess the banks want it. The banks can throw all their money into it. There's enough uh, people out there that are going to buy it or that have already bought it. Do you realize this about Ethereum? 
you take the entire supply of Bitcoin that's out there and the entire supply of Litecoin that's out there and combine the entire supply that's available to the public right now. There is more Ether than both Bitcoin and Litecoin combined. And the price of Ether is above Litecoin. And Ether is... Or Ethereum is... Uh, is uh, sorry, I'm having a brain fart. Somebody loves me. Uh, Ether was was created that that way. Nope. So did I. Somebody edit that out. But the way that Ether was created is less than desirable. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, are we that, I mean, we are. I mean, people are sheep. We are sheep. And if, if GDAX doesn't put Litecoin on their, uh, exchange, we think Litecoin sucks. I, I ain't gonna buy my Litecoin from GDAX. <laughs> I ain't buying it from Coinbase, I, you know. I whatever but we're that susceptible to suggestion you know so so people like ties in David Seaman whoever else they all uh, buy in at the pre-sale and they got and they're sitting on thousands of these either and no wonder they're sitting there talking about it. You know, that's why David Seaman is so young a ho on Ethereum, because he's sitting on a mountain of them. He's invested in that thing succeeding. Don't listen to him. Be very skeptical of anybody that's pumping up Ethereum. It's like Ty said, he made 3,000%. That's probably, he's probably a millionaire because he was involved with Nextcoin, which was you know, what? When was that created? Probably 2010, 2011. You know, he's, probably, he's a millionaire. He's got a driver. I mean, the guy is flying all over the place. You know, and there's nothing wrong with being rich or whatever. But don't be... I, I'm not going to be his sucker, okay? I'm not I'm not going to buy an Ethereum because Tizen's pumping it up. I'm not going to power up on Steemit because Tizen is really wants your upvote so he can cash out. Because he's smart. Don't let him fool you. But, uh, boy. <laughs> and, you know, I'm probably wrong about him and all this kind of stuff. And I, I like the guy. I mean, whatever. I mean, he's a likable guy, but, you know. That's how salesmen are, you know, you kind of like them, but whatever. And I mean, he puts out a lot of good information. David Seaman, I've, I've learned a lot of good stuff from him too, but these people get goofy. They, uh, they start seeing them Bitcoin signs in their eyes. <laughs> and they'll uh, pump it up for you. Believe me, I'm not trying to pump up Litecoin for you, okay? I'm not trying to pump the price up. I'm six months out of a major purchase. Maybe. I don't know. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to make my major purchase in the Litecoin. Because GDAX is now trading Litecoin. So it's probably going to get more popular and all this kind of stuff. So, you know, what do you do? I think this is my last hurrah in this space. You know, once once the price of Litecoin gets up so much more, I guess I won't be making my uh, major purchase into that. I'll be going back into precious metals. But you know, this is Litecoin is the last place that I see that you can get in for cheap, dirt cheap, stupid cheap. And I'm doing this.
this, not because I want you to go buy Litecoin. Actually, please dump your Litecoin because I want to buy more. But anyway, just trying to help you out, folks. So if you like this, share it, subscribe, and uh, and hey, man, the first uh, three Litecoin addresses that I see in the comments below. I will send you a Litecoin, alright? I'll see you guys. Be safe.